Well, the time came for an upgrade. And here it is. A new 500, 2018 model. What a beast. Haven't even started it. Zero Ks. There's the keys. <laughs> I love it. Fresh one. Quiet in. Fresh as a daisy. Okay, so we're in the workshop. We've got a new 500. And what are we going to do with it? Air cleaner. The starters. Look at it. Feel it. I mean, it's got oil on it, but it's not really oil. I wouldn't trust it. So that's going to be soaked and then wrung out in filter oil. Sorry about the sun glare on the lens. But what we're going to do straight up, we're going to strip the whole bike down, all the plastics off. We're going to fit aftermarket plastics and put those plastics away. So when it comes time to sell the bike, I've got uh, the original plastics in mint condition. We're going to pull parts off like chain guard, here we're going to uh, replace this, put a case saver on the clutch cover, on the clutch saver there. Uh, we're not going to go overboard putting too much aftermarket aluminium on this one, like bash plates and stuff. We're going to keep the plastic uh, factory bash plate on this one. And then we're going to go through and we're going to grease everything. We're going to pull the swing arm bolt out. So we'll pull the frame covers off. We'll pull the shock out, um, we'll pull the front and rear wheel off and uh, we'll grease all the bearings in the, the wheel bearings. main thing is to grease the swing arm point. It's um, always dry of grease. The headset bearings will be done in a week or two. I'm planning to replace the whole front end which is uh, another video in itself I'll keep you tuned on that but um, okay we'll get stuck into it start greasing it up start stripping it down and getting these plastics on it this is a handy little tool that I made out of a old spoke the hook on the end of it it's a spring puller so comes in handy for Getting springs off like this one here. Hard to do this and film at the same time. There we go. Done. Alright, so I've swapped all the plastics out. You can see no graphics, just plain, but it's just looks like the standard. Okay, <clears throat> with the swing arm off. We're up to this stage now, we're going to some grease in them. See, there's not much in them, factory. So you want to pack a bit of grease on them and go on this pin here. So we'll do that. Got the grease there. It's hard to do this one-handed, so I'll put the camera back down. Okay, she's back together. All greased up. Good stuff. Yes, looking good. You can wipe that grease off there. Right, we'll tension him back up and get the back wheel and shock back in. And get it off to Rex for a tune in the morning.
for a truck chase. Dusty, rocky old Kenilworth chook chase. Eight. 
Oh, it's a breakfast, this thing. Stick. Wish my fitness was better, but. the bike.
look at our granddad.
freshly grazed in Truffle Creek. First creek crossing for the new 500. Watch fun.
just going off, man. That's just going off in there where they've dozed it, man. That's fucking sick. <laughs> Did you just do that loop? No, There's a fucking loop just in here, man. It's just it's freshly dozed. It just goes like a natural motocross track down into gullies. Just you're coming out of fucking sickest air out of these little fucking knolls and stuff. Man, I tell you what, I've just spent half an hour on it, and that is one impressive machine. Compared to the old bike, this thing is just like a vast, vast improvement. The handling, the braking, the suspension, every part of it is just blows me away. It's like KDM just keeps smashing it every time. They blow my mind. Every time I get on a new 500, it's just massive improvement over the last one. I don't know how they're going to improve on this anymore. Like, it's just... It's so sharp and the handling and it just feels like a fucking 250 man to ride around with the power so much power I mean after Rex just flashed the ECU on it man it's got so much balls down in the mo in the you know off the bottom there like you can chug around in third gear and wind it on and it just pulls straight off the bottom very very impressed machine impressive machine man i'm glad i made the upgrade i tell you really happy with this